वेलकम बैक टू दैट गर्ल विद बुक्स आई एम रिया फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु डो नो मी एंड आई एम हेयर विद यूरिंग मो वेल बेसिकली दिस वॉज माई मोस्ट एंटिसिपेटेड बुक ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंट टू आई वॉन्टेड टू रीड दिस फ्रॉम अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड दिस वॉज लाइक आई वॉन्टेड इट ऑन द वेरी सेम डे द डे द ऑथर कॉर रिले डिक्लेयर इट दैट आई बी यू नो रिलीजिंग माई नेक्स्ट बुक आई वॉज दैट मच एक्साइटेड फॉर दिस वन ओके सो also i read this book on the very same day but the thing was that uh, i have mixed feeling this book was released back in the beginning of the december and i had so much mixed feelings regarding this book because uh, trust me the genre of this book falls in two different categories and one i adore i love i can you know literally die for and the other genre is something that i have always had mixed feelings uh i can read a book in that genre but i'm not sure that uh, it always turns out to be like the best one or you know the the good or uh, i don't know if it makes sense to you guys but sometimes a genre which we don't like or you know which is partially likable or not we kind of uh, have biased feelings towards it and that was the very first thing that yes i had biased feelings regarding this and uh, one minute i didn't want to read it and the very next minute i was really excited for this one this had been like this couple was on my you know tbr list for a really long time that uh, that i really want to read this and i really want how it turns out and uh, this book was a sort of disappointment and uh, well i won't say that it was a total disappointment but yeah to some extent it did disappointed me now i feel like that i shouldn't go for second generation for any couple uh, after reading this book because somehow the first generation kinds of you know levels up your expectations and then when you read the second generation and all your expectations are shattered that really breaks your heart i don't know about you guys but it actually breaks my heart realizing that what i was expecting and what it turned out to be so yeah basically this book will be about cora release a uh, new release this book goes by the name of the faith i conquer and uh, this couple includes emo and greta greta is we all know the you know a uh, sweet child of remo falcon and uh, on the other hand emo is the child of uh, luca and arya so this will book all be about i'll be also telling you things that are noted it and my favorite quotes out of it uh, there was some scenes that really hurt me but i still feel that this was not something for me because i am not for a genre that uh, you know that defines that uh, meeting your soulmate at a wrong time or what if your soulmate dies and that sort of stuff i am a person who genuinely believes in soulmates but also at the same times i don't like the genre where there is meeting your soulmate at a wrong time so yeah that was this all the mixed feelings and all so i'm really excited to share with you guys well since i already told you the title of this book this title go sorry this book goes by the title by faith i conquer it is the fourth book in the second generation of fathers of sin and uh, this book contains the couple emo and greta emo is the uh, you know second child of arya and luca uh, we have seen arya and luca from back in uh, you know born in blood mafia chronicles and uh, uh whereas greta greta is from kumaro chronicles uh she is the daughter of sephrina and remo falcon and uh, she even though she is beautiful she's fierce and uh, she loves to hard i still feel that she is a bit not for this world because she is actually very soft and uh, she can't just you know contain at this she just cannot be uh, you know uh, a person who hurts other people for fun she is not that type of a person and uh, everyone knows this in his uh, her family and she has been well protected uh, well cherished and kind of you know coddled up that don't do this don't do that if you need anything it will be for you we'll be there for you that sort of thing and uh, when she meets emma for the very first time she 
is kind of mesmerized by the power he has and by the aura he contains and uh, it was really fun to see those both characters like uh, one who loves to you know murder people kill people just for fun and uh, somehow the other girl who is kind of you know vegan do not hurt animals you can't kill somebody just because you, you like it that stuff but uh, yes since she is born in this world she is somehow interconnected and uh, she knows what is to be expected of her and this uh, since this novel falls under the category of dark romance uh, plus mafia romance and plus also that meeting your soulmate at a wrong time so this whole uh, book is kind of you know interconnected somehow how it is interconnected because other uh, characters have also played a cameo in this novel and uh, it's somehow uh, fascinating to see that what other people think of Greta and uh, how she doesn't want to hurt anyone but she also wants to be with Emma and somehow due to Emma's past mistakes he has to marry someone else and you know uh, they have this big rivalry between their family even though there was a peace since a long time between the Kamora and between the you know Batra but uh there is something that happened i cannot tell you that that will ru will ruin whole this you know plot of the book and due to that now there is rivalry between both the families and uh, after a year or so when emo realizes that he is what he is only because of greta he cannot live he cannot actually live without her because she is kind of you know uh what we say air to his uh, lungs and sort of thing so he wants to uh, you know invade in the uh, what we say moral territory and he wants to claim her as his and that's how this no all novel is about uh, other than that now i'll be sharing my favorite annotations but overall for this novel i'll give this novel uh, i would say 3 out of 5 why i gave this 3 uh not 2.5 or 2 that i gave to other novels in the same series in the second generation part where we also talked about other characters was the only reason because firstly i was really excited for m and greta second i have been biased against the mafia romance but i have also been biased against the fact that you know when soulmate dies so i definitely had mixed feelings regarding this uh I wanted to give it two stars, but yes, there were some scenes that I don't know kind of connected to me, and I couldn't give it two stars. So yeah, now I'll be telling you all the annotations. Okay, so now I have my phone and I have all the annotations downloaded. So the very first one is from chapter four. Uh, she was lost in the music. She seemed oblivious to me. Her eyes were closed. I did never thought I did enjoy ballad, but watching this girl, I couldn't imagine tearing myself away. My mind turned blank. My heart slowed, and every violent thought drained out of me as I slowly walked further into the room drawn to her so this is when uh, when our hero mo uh, sees greta for the very first time after so many years and he is mesmerized he just wants to claim her as his okay the second one is from chapter 12 i'm not hers won't ever be in the few moments we have shared i have already been more yours than i have ever been of anyone else so this is something that uh, um, um, mo is talking to i guess himself and he says that i cannot be yours i cannot be hers because no matter what happens there will always be this you know rivalry between kamora and the new york family Next one is from chapter 13 Wrong and right are concepts designed by humankind over the centuries to follow peaceful coexistence. It's not something that's inherent in nature or in our DNA. If you refer to the moral compass that guides most societies, there are certain forms of love that are regarded as wrong. Though again, love in itself isn't wrong, but how you act upon it. So this is when when Greta is kind of sharing her feelings with her family members, and she doesn't know what is right or wrong because she wants to protect her family. Her family always comes first to her, and uh, she doesn't want to disappoint them, but she also wants to be with Emma. So that's when someone. and explains this to her next is from chapter 14 
some things can't be measured or quantified greater and with love there's always a flicker of uncertainty you have to allow yourself to fall so this is when a uh, greta is unsure that whether she is falling for emo or not or whether she has already fallen for emo and whether it is right or wrong so this is when also another uh, you know family member of hers tells her that yeah love cannot be quantified love is uncertain and that sort of a stuff the next one is in chapter 16 what if you met your soulmate at a wrong time so this is when uh, i absolutely loved the conversation between greta and her family members because she knew that he was her soulmate she knew that she couldn't be complete without him but she still doesn't want to you know harm her family hurt them in any manner whether mentally or physically and she is kind of uh, what we say and she's kind of a uh, confused about her own feelings so this is when when she asked what if you met your soulmate at a wrong time okay next is from chapter 17 greta doesn't need to marry to be a queen only by existing she is shining brighter than most ever will remo said in a harsh voice so this is when you know they are kind of thinking that uh, there is some scene in this novel when emma actually proposes this thought that i want to wish i want to wish to marry your daughter and he says that she doesn't need to marry you to be the queen she is already a queen okay next is from chapter 20 I regret every moment I'm not with you. The words left my mouth without thinking. But I immediately knew I meant them. It was why I hadn't hesitated to come here. The prospect of seeing Greta again had filled me with more joy and hope than I experienced in a very long time. So this is after that he has been married to someone else and she calls for him because something happened that uh, Emma could you please come for me and he comes all the way from New York to Las Vegas and he's like I will always be there for you. I don't regret a single moment we had with you know each other and i will always be there for you okay next one is from chapter 21 this is i would want to share a bed with you if you were mine i would miss you i do miss you even though you are not mine so this is when when they are actually sitting together and in convincing their confessing their feelings after he had married to someone else and she knows whatever she is doing she she is doing wrong but again he doesn't want to let her go she doesn't want to let him go so yeah that stuff next one is from chapter 22 i don't care i just don't care i want you i fucking need you in my life this trip it made me realize it there wasn't a single night in the last 12 months that i didn't dream about you so this is when he confesses her that i want you and i need you no matter what happens in last so in last 12 months when i have been married to someone else even though i have been married to someone else i was always thinking about you so this is when emo confesses his undying love for her next is from chapter 24 emo touched his forehead to mine every part of me that matters my soul my heart my love is yours it will always be yours so this is when again confessing their feelings and you know they are in this moment of truth and uh emo confesses that you are my soul you uh is all that matters you are my love and i'm yours next one is from chapter 25 mom laughed nevio is causing her work for every reason but love the end result is the same love can be as destructive as hatred so this is when uh, you know nevio another the most anticipated book of mine is introduced in this one that the next book will be definitely of nevio and um, I'm forgetting the heroine's name. Uh, she's the daughter of Fabiano, and uh, this is when uh, our author introduces that the next book will be of Nevio, and uh, there is kind of a hate to love relationship between them. So yeah, this is what it is about. Okay. Uh, so next is the last one is from chapter thirty one. Remo didn't say anything. Only walked toward Greta and kissed her forehead. Nia Kara, the world will burn for you. We'll burn it down. So this is when the ending happens. He can, the father of the daughter, means the father of Greta confesses his undying love that will always be my princess. I will always love you, no matter what, no matter where you live, and I'll burn the down. Uh, I'll burn the world. I will burn, burn the world for you and uh, same goes for his husband who is now Emma. So yeah, it kind of sort of had a happy ending but I still think that 
this book didn't deserve 5 out of 5 it is more sort of a 3 out of 5 and it is something that i cannot pick again and again again because of the genre where meeting your soulmate at a wrong time and uh, it was good for a one read but not something i can pick again and again well that's all i had for you in this video i really hope you enjoyed this vlog of mine and i really hope i did justice to the review of by fate i conquered and if you're into that genre where you love meeting the soulmate at a wrong time you should definitely go and read for this novel and uh, please like share and subscribe and uh, please press the bell icon whenever you so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Please start your home and stay safe. Also, please follow me on Instagram too. So that you can guys keep updated with what I'm reading currently. What's in my TBR. How much I have read in each month. And what's the next uh, most anticipated romances of mine. Thank you.